Hello everyone and welcome to Redland Storytime Online. My name's Alison and I'd like to thank you for joining me today to listen to some so stories. We might have a song. And I've got my friends today too. We'll start by singing our hello song. So get your waving hands ready and we'll sing Hello everybody, hello everyone, hello everybody, it's time to have some fun. I hope you're singing, talking, reading and playing every day because it's really important to develop those growing brains. Let's sing our hello song again. Hello everybody, hello everyone, hello everybody, it's time to have some fun. Do you think we might have some fun with this fella? This is my friend, Mr. That's right, Mr. Lion. Do you know what sound Mr. Lion makes? Let me hear you. Well done. I think you can probably do it a bit louder. Let me hear your lion roar. Ready? <gasps> roar. That's right. One more time, a bit louder. Roar. Excellent. Today, we have a story that has a lion in it. And it's called, It's Bedtime, William. I hope you enjoy it. William, no more jumping, said Dad. William, it's bedtime now, said Mom. But I'm not tired. Not one little bit, said William. Oh, look at all of these speech bubbles. That means people are talking. These speech bubbles are mum and dad and the blue ones are William. It's bedtime, William. It's late, but We've told you umpteen times. Yes, but we've read you a long story. What if and let you watch TV? Can I one more kiss good night? But and off you go. Quick sticks. It's bedtime, William. Now. <sighs> it's not fair, said William. As William opened the door to his room, who did he see? It was a lion sleeping in his bed. William ran down the stairs. Mom, Dad, there's a, a lion in my bed. No lions allowed in your bed, William, said Dad. Tell it to remove itself at once, said Mum. But, but won't he eat me up? asked William. Be brave, said Dad. Be friendly, said Mum. <gasps> oh, here goes. Do you think they believed William? William tiptoed over to the bed. Um... Uh, excuse me, <laughs> who's that waking me up, mumbled the lion. It's me, William, and it's my bed, and you have to get out right now. Why, asked the lion. Because my mum said so. The lion sat up. Is your mum mad at me? William patted a paw. Don't worry. 
Well, where am I supposed to sleep? asked the lion. William thought for a moment. This trundle bed. That's where my friends sleep. That might be okay, said Lion. Guess what, said the Lion. I'm not tired anymore. Let's play. So they played, bouncing on the bed, and they played pillow fights. Whoosh! Thump! Dad's voice boomed up the stairs. William, stop that racket and go to sleep. Anyone would think you had a wild animal in your room. <laughs> he did have a wild animal in his room. Uh, I'm sort of tired now, said William. Oh, I'm not, said the lion. Let's play hide and seek. Found you! Found you! There you are! Uh, it's bedtime now, yawned William. But I'm not tired. Not one little bit, said the lion. I'll tell you a story then, said William. William told a story about lions in jungles. I want a funny story this time, said the lion. So William told a story about lions in frilly pants. The lion rumbled with laughter. Another story, he asked. No more stories. It's bedtime now, said William. I'm cold, said the lion. William gave him a blanket. My bottom feet are cold, whimpered the lion. William wrapped up his feet in woolly jumpers. I'm thirsty, said the lion. William gave him a glass of water. Do you want to see me gargle? Not really, said William. Another drink? The lion held out his glass. No more water. It's bedtime now, said William. Do you think William's getting a bit fed up? <laughs> I'm hungry, said the lion. Here. Have my lunchtime apple. Mmm, tasty, said the lion. Oh, you're eating so slowly, said William. Hurry up. Nearly finished. The lion sighed. <sighs> What's the matter? asked William. Uh, I, I have to go to the toilet. Quick sticks, said William. I'll count to ten. Did you clean your teeth? Yep. Show me, said William. Hmm, sparkly. <gasps> then the lion began to talk and ask questions. Tuck me in again. Okay. Can I have a teddy too? Here. Will you sing me a song? <sighs> Can we jump on the beds? No. Let's stay up all night. No. Do you want to hear a joke? No. It's really funny. No, no. Wait. There's one more thing. What is it now? Said William. Good night, William said the lion. <laughs> and that was the end. Good night. I'm glad you enjoyed that story. Wasn't it funny to see William telling that lion to go to bed? He just wanted to have too much fun. Is that what happens? When your mom and dad tell you to go to bed? Do you just want to have too much fun? <laughs> Alrighty. Now we might just have a little bit of a wriggle. Get those wriggles out. You might want to stand up for this song because we're going to sing 
heads and shoulders, knees and toes. You ready to stand up? And we'll sing heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, heads and shoulders, knees and toes. We all clap hands together. Good job. One more time. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes. We all clap hands together. What about eyes and ears and mouth and nose? Ready? Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. We all clap hands together. That's it. Was that a bit tricky, that one? Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. That's why we had to sing it a bit slower so we could touch all of our body parts. Okay, we've got time for another story. And the next story has a dog and a cat. Meow, meow. And the story is called I don't like Gloria. I don't like Gloria by Kay Umansky and Margaret Chamberlain. I don't like Gloria. She's a cat. She's come to live with us. Nobody asked me. The first thing she did was go and eat from my dish. My dish. She's got her own dish. It says Gloria on it. Mine, says Colin. Can't she read? I growled at her and got told off. Is that fair? I don't like Gloria. Gloria has taken over the house. She even sleeps in my basket on my special cushion. They forgot my walk yesterday. Too busy fussing over Gloria. She's taken over the garden now. My garden! I tried chasing her up a tree. She wouldn't run. I felt really silly. They told me off for barking at her. Can you believe it? <sighs> I really don't like Gloria. But hey, what's this? A cardboard box has arrived. Mm, what could it be? It has carrots and it says this way up. I go to investigate. They push me back. Gloria goes to investigate. They push her back too. But we saw. We saw all right. His name is Jeffrey. He's a rabbit. He's come to live with us. 
Now, nobody's taking any notice of me and Gloria. Too busy fussing over Geoffrey. I still don't like Gloria. And Gloria doesn't like me. But at least we agree on one thing. What do you think it is? We really don't like Geoffrey. Poor Geoffrey. He hasn't done anything wrong. And that's the end. Well, I'm glad that they did manage to get on in the end. That's about all we have time for today. So thank you for joining us at Redland Libraries Online. We hope you're enjoying these stories as much as we are. Do you think we can finish off with our goodbye song? Come on then, get your waving hands and we'll sing Goodbye everybody, goodbye everyone Goodbye everybody, we're glad you've had some fun Goodbye everybody, goodbye everyone Goodbye, everybody. We're glad you've had some fun. Bye, everyone. See you next time.